And Samantha Joe, the big question here, do you think they're going to be able to reach a deal? Well, Rick, it is still a major question, and it is looking to be an uphill battle to get to a deal. Now, while the two sides have really been getting a little bit closer in recent days, uh, they still have a lot of dynamics that they're going to need to maneuver through to get this thing over the finish line. And one of the major hangups here really has been the price tag. Now, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has been pushing a $2.2 trillion deal, and it's a little bit slimmed down version of the Democrats' HEROES Act passed in May. Now, the plan includes $600 unemployment payments, direct checks for families, money for small businesses, and aid for farmers. But Republicans say it has too much in it and the price tag is still way too high. Now, there are other details that need to be worked out. How much are they going to spend for schools? Will they provide more money for election funding that the speaker really has been pushing for? Not to mention that state and local aid. Now, Democrats Democrats have backed down, pushing for $400 billion or so, but initially they did push for a trillion dollars. So we're looking at it from the standpoint of a family making $20,000 a year, a family of four, and they're looking at it from the standpoint of $150 billion to the wealthiest people in our country. But that's why we not only have a dollars debate, we have a values debate. Unfortunately, despite the secretary's best efforts, my perception of the Democratic leadership right now is that they're willing to have meetings, they're willing to have show votes, but they're not willing to do substantive work. <laughs> Now, Pelosi says that she does believe that this new Democratic coronavirus bill will be on the floor of the House of Representatives today. And that really suggests that there is no deal with the White House at this time. But we will continue to keep you up to date as we learn more. For now, live from D.C.'s Samantha Doroth, Spectrum, Bay News 9.